Right, so this just arrived from Amazon and they sent me a message, said, we know you like coffee. Do you want to try some of our new Nespresso coffee pods? I looked over there at the machine for some reason and this turned up. I said, yeah, sure, send it out. This turned up. I have literally only just opened it. But when I saw the description and everything, I did feed back to Amazon. I said, they're plastic pods. They're plastic pods. With the uh, Nespresso machine, I always buy the metal pods for two reasons. One, better for the environment and two, you get a better taste in coffee. But I'm gonna test these one anyway. Um, they sent me two boxes of them and there's a hundred pods in total. I'm grateful they turned up, but like I said, I wouldn't be repurchasing this and these anyway, just because of the simple fact they're plastic pods um, for, for the two reasons that I gave just a second ago. So here they are here, brand new from Amazon. They've got into the, uh, even says by Amazon there, They've got into the Nespresso line with these, and they are mellow and balanced. That's all it's saying. Roast and ground coffee, Nespresso compatible. Whether that Amazon have tried to keep the price down by going for the plastic pods, I really don't know, but that's my major gripe, is the plastic pods, before I've even tasted it. We'll open these together, they're all gonna fall out. Look at them in there, there is absolutely loads of them, and they're purpley colored. Here's one of them there. Just like that. Well, I'm going to whack this on so we can actually taste it. So I'm just going to make a little espresso with it that you can probably hear the machine firing up. Like I say, there's a lot of pods. It's just the plastic. I will stick a link down below if you want to purchase these yourself. I don't think they're that expensive. They're a lot cheaper than these sort of Starbucks ones that I'm drinking at the moment these are Starbucks Starbucks blonde roast these are really nice but look at the difference between a really well made decent aluminum pod to one of these plastic ones I've said my bit on that let's actually taste the coffee and see what that tastes like so there it is there we've got a little espresso shot um, this is a Cortado glass, really. That's why it looks quite small, but that's an espresso size right there. We'll taste it. We'll, we'll taste it for what it is. I was, I was just smelling it, pretending I'm some coffee extravaganto or whatever that word is. It smells like a coffee, but there is a tint I'm getting of almost cheapness in the smell. <laughs> that ain't that ain't too bad. If we forget everything else about it and just go by the taste, that's actually not too bad. So taste on its own, taste ain't actually too bad. Ah, that that's that was that weren't a bad espresso to be honest. So there they are there on Amazon. Pretty cheap. I don't know the price off the top of my head, but if you check it out, the link below, I saying you'll see the price. Then decide yourself when you, whether you want them or not. But like I just said, oh, there is a lot. It's fifty now. I got, I got hundred of these to get to get through, and now I'm going to try to find a way of recycling these sensibly. You got to take care. For more Amazon-related coffee reviews. Do what you gotta do and subscribe. When the wife sees this, she's gonna say, you don't need to buy any more coffee pods. Why are you buying so many? And I'll say to her, some of them, them purple ones were sent to me from Amazon. And she will say, yeah, whatever.